Hi! Due to the way YouTube works, I want to make a quick announcement before this video. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button or leaving a small comment. It really helps. If you feel like helping even more, you can check my Patreon or Ko-fi accounts. All the links are in the description box. Thank you! Greetings! Today, I'll be taking a look at the talent squash that Malvina sent me in her lovely package quite some time ago now. She sent me a set of 8 tubes and an extra 2 jars of gouache, made by Royal Talents. It took me some time to get to this one for a few reasons. The first one being that it took some time for the 10 compartments box to get here. Once I had that, I proceeded to set the paints in and close the box. I set it aside for a few weeks to see how the paints would keep. Before I did that though, I painted a first set of swatches with the fresh paint to have that handy to compare the colors to the reactivated paints. They were all really easy to lay down, either the paint from the tubes or the one from the jars. The colors have a decent level of opacity, especially since these are gouache and not watercolor. They were also really easy to mix and I was able to easily create more greens, purples and oranges. When I came back to the paint box after a while, I opened it to find a small, nasty surprise. There must have been a small contaminant in the box and it had grown into a small patch of mold on the blue gouache. In itself, paint doesn't get moldy, unless there has been a contaminant on the surface. Since the box was sealed, the moisture caused the mold to grow. No worries though. For a small surface patch like that, I simply removed it with a clean palette knife. After that, I let the palette air dry to see what the paints are like when they are dry. It's worth noting that with the palette closed, the paints stayed as wet as if I had just poured them. After a few days out, the paints had dried into really nice cakes of paint, without cracking or breaking apart. I proceeded to paint the second set of swatches. I didn't pre-wet the dry gouache, aside from spraying the palette right before swatching. They re-wet well, but it definitely requires a bit of softening time in water to get a more thick paint consistency. The colors didn't change between the freshly poured paints and the dried blobs. To test out the paints, 
I sketched a small scene using a photo as reference. I like to use gouache a bit like I use watercolors, so I am not sure how helpful my take on these will be from a purely gouache perspective. I start with the light colors and lay down a few areas, then lay down a few shadows. Gouache layers better over dry paint, so I make my way around the picture, alternating between light colors, dark colors, and drying time. I was really surprised at the green color. It's really bright, almost to the point of being fluorescent. It made for a lovely sunlit greenery, but on the flip side, it was harder to create rich dark greens. The colors are not particularly deep, so when I wanted to create the darkest darks, I had to go and mix in some of the black gouache. Overall, the paints layered really well, and they were quite fun to use. From my understanding, these paints are general, entry-level supplies, especially the tubes. They are affordable where they are available, and come in various convenient sets. I think these gouaches can be super fun for sketching quickly and being able to layer colors with opacity to them. The finish is nicely matte, and the colors are super bright. The full range offers a decent array of choice and will likely cover whatever you need if you decide to get something inexpensive to mess around. I also like how these dry. They are far less brittle than other gouaches I've seen. So what do you think of these paints? Let me know in the comments below! A great big thank you to Malvina for sending me these to try out, it was fun! And thank you for watching! Have a great day, bye bye! Before I leave, here's a reminder that I have accounts on Redbubble and Society6 for fun things like stickers and mugs, and also an Etsy store, where I sell prints, originals, and handmade paints. Bye bye!